Hey folks, welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill. I'll tell you what, we're gonna have a hook of a great time. Great fishing today. We've got our good friend Jim Crowley. Jim, thanks for having us. Oh, great yeah. to be here. I'm honored. I know, you know you're, you're we're right. honored. I know, he's got Hook and Hunt TV. Right. Great time. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have you download some apps today. That'll be fun. Wouldn't it be? I'm excited just to see what we're gonna cook after we're done catching. <laughs> you know, well, I am too. And Merrill is too. <laughs> Merrill down below, he's happy to see us here today. Hey, you know, we're with Merrill Craft today, and you're sponsored by Merrill Craft. Right. And, and what a quiet ride. Yeah, well, there's there's a reason for that, and, and there's a couple reasons for that. Actually, Mirrorcraft builds all their boats with 10-inch stringers, so you're not going to have oh, a more wow. solid hull. Yep. They've also got the only one-piece hull in the industry, and the way they spray their foam insulation in, there is no gaps. That's why when you go down the water no, in Mirrorcraft, no it's a quiet, silent, solid ride. Right, exactly. Right. Oh, it was, too. It is, also. And, and for every lifestyle. I mean, you're, you're a professional fisherman, so you've got, you've got a, a boat set for you, but any lifestyle you got, from uh, skiing, uh, the family of to fishing, to family fishing, whatever you do on the water, yep. your aircraft has a boat for you. Yep. And you know what? Not just U.S. made, not just Midwest made, but Wisconsin made. The best there is. <laughs> Building boats since 1956, nobody does it better. Exactly. It had to be a good year. The year I was born. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we're going to have a great time today. Jim's going to join us on shore. We're going to be doing some smoking of chicken and ribs. Oh, good. We're going to be doing some uh, 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 fish tacos. All right. Uh, fish burritos. Those yeah. are going to be great. And, and, and so you folks stay tuned, join us. We're going to talk about downloading apps. We're going to talk about fishing and hunting and grilling today and catching some fish. Oh, I'm, I'm really more excited about the grilling. I got to talk to you. Jim's a griller. Jim's a griller. Oh, He's a nice to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we'll be right back on shore. Mad Dog and Merrill and Jim Crowley. Hey, while you're out there, you better catch a big one. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, Bit Boss Pellet Grills, Cherry Delight, Native American Tourism of Wisconsin, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Sundrop Soda, Shooting Star Casino, Awesome Shrimp and Seafood, The Oneida Nation, and by Lashbro Aerial Images. Well, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Freddie, you missed out on the action. Freddie, 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 we had a great time on yeah. the Merrill Craft. Yeah, you'd think I've never been on this lake before. <laughs> <laughs> Not with Jim Crowley. No, and I, that's, I did miss out. Hook, Hook and Hunt TV, for God's yeah. sakes. Well, there you go. I know, download the app. You were just here <laughs> plinking on the piano. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, the little catch and release, trouble. and you've actually caught a few fish out there so far. Oh, yeah, we've had a, it's been great for the first time in this lake. We had a great time. Yeah. It's beautiful, and the fish are biting. It's yeah. good. Yeah, and you got a great boat. Yeah, oh, yeah, I've got the 1771 Miracraft Aggressor. I, that's the best one we've ever had. I've had several Miracrafts. I love them all, but this one, this yeah. is my office, my home away from home. Well, you know, what's really great is uh, you, if you go online at Miracraft.com, you see all the different styles of boat, and there's one for every lifestyle. That, that's right. That's all you have to do. I, that's, my, that's my commercial plug of the day. Yeah. That's all you got to do, Miracraft.com. That's, that's it. it right there. Just push the button, you're all set. But because we have catch and release. No, mm -hmm. you know what? Let's do this. Merrill's got the most delicious looking things on the pit boss I've ever seen him do. I do. It. I'll tell you oh, what, I've yeah, been yeah. smoking on the pit boss. We've got some Cornell chicken there, and we've got some spare rib, a nice rack of spare rib. And what you want to we'll do is. We'll get a beauty shot of those in just a little bit. Stay tuned, man. They're great looking. They oh, are. Goodness. So we're going to do a little, little uh, mop sauce. I'm, okay. I love that stuff, man. I'm, I'm learning. I'm All here right. to learn. Mop sauce is something where it's just actually just want to keep on brushing on the, on the ribs there. It's not going to be real thick. Nope. But just add a little more with, smoking time every time you lift the hood. You got it. You got it. That's what we I got say. a cup of strong coffee, very strong coffee. Got to put a couple tablespoons of oil. Now, normally I would use like a, a, a quarter cup of melted butter. But the oil works good. Oil works I've been okay. into melted. The melted butter's good. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but yeah. you're right. And then we got the W sauce. There we go, about a Ooh, quarter of a cup or whatever you think yeah. on there. But I, I, I like I love Worcestershire. Yeah, yeah, it's just the flavor Save of some for the Bloody Mary for Freddie. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, we will. We will. Okay, heavy <laughs> with the black pepper. I'm using our garlic pepper on there. I'm talking about a good tablespoon in there, all right? It'll good tablespoon. Or more. Good. Okay, now, you're yeah. a fan of our sauces and spices. Uh, I love it. Yeah, that's when I saw Citrus Twist, yeah, I said, yeah, I'm yeah. all in. Yeah, I'm all in. Yep. Grilling Magic, a little sodium. All right. 
The main thing is that you really want to get the flavor out because you're just actually moistening the ribs. Barbecue sauce. I'm using our hickory barbecue oh, sauce. Show today. the camera the hickory one. Yeah, that's okay, a good one. I will, uh, I will show the camera that by God. I like the spicy one too. That's really oh, good. Oh, I do. Spicy. Oh, yeah. That's good. We up the habanero mash in it, Jim, just for you. Oh, I, just for my, you. My head was sweating. It's yeah, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, love yeah. that stuff. That yeah. is good. All right, <laughs> now we're just going to shake, 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 kids. Don't worry, I'll I forgot I had tablets. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to brush these on the ribs. Keep on brushing them on. Away we go. What do you got there, man? Ribs doggy? and chicken are good, but we're into fish today. Yeah. So we got some cod loins right here that we're going to get on a nice little griddle. And and Jim, do you, do you, once in a while when you when you travel and when you fly, you have your fishing rods. Are they in like a sheath? Like yeah. A, like usually, sometimes if we like if if we're flying in somewhere, then we're going to be putting them in. We're going to be putting them in a big tube. But most of the time, with the big rod locker having a mirror craft, I just keep all the stuff right there. Look at this. That's right. But that is this is this is. That's a griddle action right there. That's right. Griddle to go. Griddle to go. So we're going to take our griddle, we're going to take the loins, okay. and I'm going to actually going to oil them right on top of here and season them up just for you. Now we mentioned the uh, the lemon pepper to you, or the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the citrus twist to you. Right. A little bit of oil. Just over the top and over that griddle. Now I'm going to put a stick of butter off to the side there and let that melt with it. Yeah. So we're going to blend our garlic pepper and our citrus twist together. Okay. And I mentioned that to you a little bit earlier, and it makes a great little lemon pepper. Open up, always open up the big side. It's sodium free. Go for it. Yeah. So we got the citrus over the top. A little garlic, a little garlic pepper, but heavy on the pepper over the Ooh, sides. What a great. And we're gonna do some uh, folded burritos with these. I oh. think some onions would go good. What do yeah, you think, I was gonna Jim? say, were you gonna put some onions in here? Because I love onions. Sure, absolutely. Oh, we'll add a little yeah. bit of oil in there. Okay. We'll add your onions inside of there. You squeeze the lime before or after? Oh, we're gonna do that right now. Thank okay. You, a little bit of butter. Having the margaritas later. Oh, and okay. some cilantro yeah, to season that baby up. Nice. So I was going to use raw onions, but Freddie's breath always smells of raw onions. Thanks a lot. That's a nice <laughs> Have thing a line. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get this on the griddle. We got our pro fire all fired up. Jim, want to help me you out there, buddy? I'm going to put nice that over to the side. We're going to put the butter right on top of the uh, on top of the loins. We'll okay. put this baby over the top of here. We put some butter in the bottom, didn't we, Jim? Yeah, we did. Yes, yeah, we did. did. Yep. So we'll get those babies going. So we got the loin, we got that, we got ribs and chicken. Oh, oh we need some music, Freddie. We're gonna eat good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. With Jim Crowley from the television show Hook and Hunt. Download the app on Roku today. Yeah, Hook and Hunt TV, Roku, Fire TV. Yeah, you betcha. All good stuff. All good, good to stuff. have you here. Oh, sorry. Phone went off. I thought I turned it down. That's okay. That's okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All good. Yeah. Oh, take a message just, for me. Yeah, take a yeah. message. Yeah. That's just a TV we got, show. We got Kirk as your sidekick. Th that's yeah. right. Everybody needs a sidekick. We got Fast Freddy the side dish. That's what I am. Who's our side dish? <laughs> <laughs> hey, make these guys a drink, Meryl. I got some I stuff will. to do. I will. Actually, this is Freddy's drink that we're oh. making, okay? Oh, yeah. I right. have no idea, but look at that. We came with a glass for you. Oh, look at that. And it got a glass for Freddy. Okay, and then it got ice in there, Freddy? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. I'll well, move know the this bucket once started. the ice is in. Look at that. Well, okay, this started Freddy. because down the block at the resort on Tuesdays, they had $2 Jaeger bombs. Oh, yeah. And I oh. said, wow. But you know what? To put that shot glass in there and fill it up with Jaeger and then put energy drink around it, You'll knock your teeth out. And I said, I don't want to do that. Yeah. So I had him pour the drink into a glass, put the energy drink in, and then add ice. Well, we've modified that now. Okay. And now what we've got is a little bit of Jaeger and sun drops, oh, the golden right. cola, absolutely. Oh. And we put that thing in there and we stir it up and we call it a 43W. A 43W. Where did I see that? That's your boat. That's boat. right. That was my boat racing number when I was 43 racing. 43W. Yep. Okay. And if my dad's watching this show, it was our old television, our old telephone number. <laughs> really? W, w, w. Yeah, W43 or 43W, yep. Not to be confused with WD-40. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's what this might taste like. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have so, no idea either. So tell them what you're doing there, Meryl. All right, I got some Jägermeister in here. Use a little bit over a shot. <laughs> Never made this one before, Freddie. Yeah. <laughs> A little sun drop soda, and that's it, right? Stir it around. It. Yeah, I don't up. have anything to stir it with. Well, do you, got you guys to put have your fingers. Yep, you got all right. so I got an extra spoon. There you, oh, go. there you go. Okay, super. I don't think I need that. All but right, so, that does so look well, refreshing, though. It looks I'm, really, really good. It does. And well, and and uh, and uh, 
so tell us about kids and fishing. You know, I, I said to Jim, I said, Jim, I says, tell us the biggest fish. Tell us everybody around to the tournament. Tell us this, tell us that. But fishing shows and grilling shows like ours and yours yeah. are made for getting kids involved and keeping kids involved. Right. They really they're, are. They're, they're family events. And, you know, fishing is the one thing that you can do from my dad started me in a boat when I was three years old. Sure. You know, and I'm hoping I'm doing it till so. my last baking, day. Baking so. soda in a <laughs> propeller with rubber bands. And I had those. I had those. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, and it's one thing that if the, the more kids are out fishing, it teaches yeah. them integrity, it teaches them responsibility, it teaches them patience. to do things, patience. patience, and it teaches them to do things on their own, you know, and I, God's blessed me with a career in the outdoor industry. Yeah. You guys are cooking, we're fishing. It, this is just stuff kids should do because I, I, I think it really just leaves a bright future for them ahead. Absolutely right. Absolutely, Absolutely right. Hey, hey, do you have a website, Facebook? Yeah, if anybody wants to go check out our website, easily they can do that. Just go to hookandhunttv.com and it has all the places we are on Facebook, Instagram, Roku, Fire TV, all that. But just go to hookandhunttv.com and you can see everything we do there. So we have some summer. Thank you, thank you, Jim. Here's your drink, there, sir. Oh, oh, hey, God, Jim, and this is the, we're toasting you. Welcome to the Big Lake. No, nothing better than grilling. <laughs> oh no, this is Shano. <laughs> the, uh, so we have a little sour cream. I have a little uh, chipotle sauce. Actually, really good. Just yeah. a little chipotle <laughs> sauce in there because we're going to be folding some tortilla shells in just a second. So we have a little mayo and sour cream oh. and chipotle together. And that's going to be our little sauce. Plus, I got some avocado. We got some tortilla oh, really? shells. Really? And we're going to get those folded. But we can't do that because the second segment's ended. We have to have a little piano music. Oh, Fast piano Freddy music. on the keyboards, ladies and gentlemen. Take this out of here, Freddy boy. Freddy, it's Freddy playing the piano. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Mad Dog and Marrow Midwest Grilling. This is great. This is great. <laughs> you know, uh, Jim Crawley here. I mean, we, we have the same thing. We, you know, our lifestyle is the outdoors. We have outdoor shows. Right. Yes, both of us. Yeah, this is this is a good gig. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good, good gig. gig. It is yeah. a good I gig. I sort of like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I yeah. love your shirt. You realize that? <laughs> you know, I don't know if I should be SpongeBob or the Little Mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to see as a little. Yeah, mermaid. You're gonna be the Little Mermaid. I'm telling you that. <laughs> when, when when we first showed up and Jim Crawley was already here, I said either the, either the rodeo clowns are in town or you're in a fish. You're in and fishing. I've been in a barrel before, so you know. <laughs> hey, let's take some stuff off the grill. Do it. Let's we? do it. Yeah. So we, we, you know, we talked about, and, and you know, we don't like dating the oh show. Oh my! Isn't that beautiful? Oh my! Absolutely yeah. gorgeous. That's a nice big rack of ribs. I wanted something big. I know Meryl yeah. wanted to do baby backs. I oh, know, that's... I know. But I'll tell you, we did this on the pit boss. Yeah. They smoke these that at 275 degrees. <laughs> that is bad to the bone. That's yep. awesome. Yeah. They, Same uh, thing with the God, chicken so too. 275 degrees. You know, it's amazing. Oh. I think in both our businesses, Jim, and, and I say it because we don't like dating the show, but uh, with coming off from COVID last year. Right. Uh, people want to get out in the backyard. People want to get out in the lake. They want to get out in the river. We are social people. That's just that's just how we're made. We right. are social people. And getting together, talking about food, getting together with music and food and all that stuff, it's all good. Yeah. It's and all good. That's what, that's what we're about. supposed to do. Exactly right. So the ribs, the chicken, they look darn good, don't they? Oh. Time to unveil. Above, above You know, I, I, I snuck in a little smoked paprika uh, oh. when you did your onions. That. When you did your onions and stuff like that. So. Oh. So the onions are caramelized really, really nice. Those are going to go atop our sandwiches that we're going to make here, too. we got a lot to do in this little sandwich. certainly do. Let, let me get stuff. the griddle off here. It's a pretty nice pan you've got there, man. I know, I know you yeah. folks can't, but if you could smell this, 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 is, absolute, this is absolutely unbelievable. This is, just, this is just flat out good. Flat right. out griddle. Oh, my Yeah, goodness. so the cod turned out, the onions, the chicken, the, the, the ribs over here. Meryl's going to show how he did his, his, his chicken. chicken. Is this how you marinated the chicken, right? Yeah, I did what they call Cornell chicken. This is big out east. Uh, professor from Cornell University. Cornell Miss, chicken professor. Cornell chicken. Yeah. Very easy recipe. Sounds like a line, don't it? Talk about one egg in there. Smart one bird. egg. Then you use two cups of vinegar. So one egg, two cups of vinegar? Two cups of vinegar, sir. And you would definitely want to use. Oh, I don't want you pouring my drinks. Oh, I know, <laughs> but you definitely want to use the apple cider vinegar. Don't use the plain. I vinegar. might want him pouring mine. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> With Jaeger, huh? <laughs> Good cup of oil. Hey, let's switch over. Yeah, you sure. take a little over right. there. I get closer to the there chicken. Yeah. And I'm going to. You can use salt, but I'm going to be using some of our citrus oh, twist. My favorite, here. my absolute favorite. Okay. And you got to whisk that up, and I'll pour that over some chicken right when I'm done here, folks. 
All righty, Mad Doggy. Pour it over the chicken. I think we have time. All right, Pour we got over time. The I'll grab the, the chicken. The Let me go down the basement. Freddie gets this chicken. Freddie inherited the chicken. Hey, this pan, this griddle right here, <laughs> I got at the flea market. Uh, this is fast. Freddie's also on a nice little cast iron. So when I was at Ooh. the flea market, I picked him up a cast iron skillet for him and Kathy. <laughs> What a nice guy I am. He's he a nice he's guy. The best. When you guys wash your cast iron, you don't put detergent or nothing, do you? Or how do, how do you do no, it? No, you know, I, after I wash them up, I oil them real good first. Good. And, and after flavor. Yep, yep. Just stick them in the oven okay. on just a low heat for a couple minutes just to dry that oil on. Good. That's what I do. Freddie, awesome. this is going to be your chicken for tonight. I'm like, they I'm, can marinate these from two hours up to 24 hours, 36 hours. That's great. Look at Good marinade. Freddie, we'll be here for dinner. For <laughs> now, you guys hang around. You know, we're we're, we're staying the whole day. <laughs> Well, you know, that, care of you. Day, man. you know what that chicken and Freddie have in common? They're both in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, so we're going to do it. This is how we're going to do it. These are my version of a nice little, uh, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, the, 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 the wrap the, things. The wrap things. Yeah, I'm here to help. Yep, thank you very much. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take, we're gonna take a little bit of, uh, this is avocado, a uh, little avocado. Ooh. Oh, I, like I love avocado. avocado. So that's just to smooth things over a little bit. Place a nice piece of cod on top of the avocado. And then we're going to do a dollop of that little chipotle with the uh, sour cream and the mayonnaise. My goodness. Ooh. Over the top of that, a little fresh cilantro. Look at that. A couple little tomatoes. Look how thin he sliced those tomatoes. I know, isn't that great? And then. That's like a surgeon. I know, geez. You uh, you actually caught a large white legally caught a w large albino sturgeon. No, white. just a just a white sturgeon. We were in Oregon fishing on the Columbia River where people do that all sure. the time. Yeah, and that was a 250 pounder, and I had the small one of catch the and release. Catch and release. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't even pull them out of the water. You keep them in the water. You get a photo of them, and yeah. it was the coolest thing feeling that fish. And then we go barbless hooks. Cool. It, was, it, was, it was awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. So on the, on the Shawano Lake, it connects to the Wolf River, and yes, on the Wolf does. River, the, the, the sturgeon come up from Lake Winnebago every year mm -hmm. and spawn. And what a sight it is to see those those prehistoric oh, animals. Amazing. Oh, they're 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 good, and, yeah. and, the, and the, they're just a wonderful fish. I know. Wonderful Some people fish. accidentally take pictures of Freddie when he's out there instead of the prehistoric <laughs> sturgeon. Well, it's the sturgeon. Freddy, I'm gonna be on your side, buddy. I don't <laughs> care. It, 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 it just keeps coming. Just keeps on rolling. Doesn't matter. So, so we'll we'll fold this. Just like a little taco, and that's your little burrito. So it has that gorgeous little cod sandwich. That's my version. Oh, we forgot our, we forgot your onions, Jim. Please. Oh, yeah. caramelized onions. Oh, have now, onions. now we're talking. Yeah, isn't that great? Oh, now we're talking. So we're gonna fold those up. So once again, Jim Crowley. Yes. Hook and Hunt TV is yeah. found on Roku. We can find Roku on Fire TV. You can also find us on our on our Facebook page at Hook and Hunt TV and yep. Instagram as well. But yeah, just like you guys, Roku and look for the Hook and Hunt TV channel on Roku and Fire TV. Yep, sounds good. And then uh, Freddie. What? That's what I mean. What? <laughs> what? Have you ever fished on Shawano Lake? Yes, I have. Yeah, have you? yeah. But you know, I started out. I told him the story yeah. when I was just a little kid. I was very unlucky at fishing, and really? so. You know, I'd sit in the boat and everybody would be pulling in fish. We'd switch poles, we'd switch seats and all that stuff. And I was 15 years old. My buddies were water skiing. I dove off the boat and said, I'll see you guys later. And that was the last time, truly, that I personally fished myself. But you know what? I'm a great guide, and I know where the holes are. Oh, yeah, you put it, yeah. still go right there. We then there we started. So I know, I know the yeah. lake, and yeah, my neighbors on the the lighthouse bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he yes, all. I he am the best guide hole. you're gonna find. <laughs> so were you, were you also a skier? Yes, I love to ski. Really? Yeah, I could do slalom, trick ski. You know, I was. That's why his knees are bad. Yeah, but, yeah but look, but look at the belly on me now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. But you know, when I raised the boys. You know, we got into boat racing because everybody wants to have a racetrack as close to their house as they could get. How could you beat this? Right there. Oh, you got we it. practice every day. I'd come home, my kids would be home from school. Dad, let's try this new propeller and stuff like that. They knew what was going on. All right, here we go. I'll tell you what, we'll be right back to wrap this baby up All with Jim right. Crawley. Take a big bite of that, Jim. That's yeah. going to be delicious. Side. Join us, Mad Dog and Merrill, and me, Fast Freddy. February 10th through the 13th for a taping of Midwest Grilling at Beachside Hotel in Cocoa Beach, Florida. Book your room now at maddogandmerrill.com and click on the Beachside tab. Include promo code MIDWEST in order to get your special discount. And that's four days and three nights. February 10th through the 13th in sunny Cocoa Beach, Florida. Book now. Rooms are going fast. 
gonna have Jim talk about welcoming back, but he's too busy eating that fish taco. You're on your own. <laughs> oh, we always all on our own. You know, we're so proud of all the grills that we use. We're proud of all the sponsors that we have. Merrill, you know, we didn't really talk about smoking on the pit boss. Yeah, I'm smoking on the pit boss today. It was really great. These are a nice set of spare ribs that I did. I smoked these actually for four hours at 275 degrees. So, you know, I put a rub on there. And all what I did for the rub is I just used some grilling magic. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was it. Put that on there. The chicken. We did the Cornell chicken. That's all what it is for the it Cornell looks chicken. It can't wait to dig in. Yeah, oh. can't go wrong with nope, the grill. Nope, grill's pit boss. So you got it. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to go to our good friend Jim Crowley, Hook and Hunt Television. That's right, hookandhunttv.com. Hook and Hunt TV. You say it so naturally, and I try too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, folks. We'll be hey, right back. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Be good. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.